Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. Today, we are going to harvest some garlic. Uh, this is the garlic bag that I planted uh, last fall, like around the end of September, I think it was. And I have a video on that that I had posted at that time, and I'll put a link to that down below. So if you wanna check it out and see how I did the planting and the spacing and everything, uh, you can check that out. Uh, so in here, I've got hard neck and soft neck garlic uh that i've got kind of mixed together and i am way past due on when i probably should have harvested not well not way past due but i probably should have done this last week really when you're harvesting your garlic uh, once your bottom two or three leaves start to turn brown and die off that's a good indicator that it's about ready to be harvested now mine i have more leaves dying off and they're even a few of them have started to fall over, which means they're past due the time. Uh, and really for, you know, your optimal time for harvest, uh, the reason why you want to kind of get it in that earlier stage where the lower leaves are just starting to die off uh, is that it will keep longer and uh, last you longer throughout the winter or however long you're saving it for. Um, once it's been cured, um, the longer you wait, the more of, of these leaves die off and start falling over. Uh, it, the protective covering, the, the little papery um, skins that are around your garlic bulbs, uh, they uh, are not as good when you wait too long. So, and same thing as if you pick them too early, they haven't formed enough of a protective shell. Um, so each one of these leaves should correspond to one of the, the little paper skins that, that go around your, your garlic bulb. So the more of those that you have, the better. But you're only going to have so many, I mean, really, per, per bulb. But I'm getting all wrapped up here. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and dig these up today, and I will show you what it looks like. I'm sorry about the lighting here. Um, the way the sun's coming down this time of the morning, but uh, I have here around it, I had some hardware cloth and, and some other things. To, so in the fall, I was trying to keep rabbits out just kind of as a little additional barrier. Still had one rabbit to get in here and try to make a, a nest, but um, I was able to shoo him along and, and get the, his little hole and nest out of there before he got too moved in. Uh, or before she got moved in. So let's get this garlic dug up and we'll, we'll show you what's going on. So I'm gonna start out here on this uh, outside edge uh, to give me a little bit of room to dig without disturbing or, or damaging any of the other bulbs that might be in the ground and then work my way in. But you just wanna kinda stick your little uh, shovel in there and start prying it up to kind of get that root base to pop up out of there so that you're not damaging the stem because you want to keep that on there while you're curing. And I don't have a whole lot of room on this edge to, there we go, get underneath of it. And we'll just start popping them up. That's a little one there. but it's got the different, um, you can see the different cloves that are in there. They're just small cloves. And I think some of these I had I planted maybe a little too close together. That one was kind of up against another one, probably didn't give it as enough room to expand out. But we still have good usable garlic in there. It's just the cloves are smaller. This is the one that was next to it. I'm just bang some of that uh, dirt off. But when you are pulling them up and digging them up and you're trying to clean them off a little bit, you don't want to like really pull away all that stuff because you want these to dry out uh, and you don't want to pull away that protective paper, uh, papery skin on there. The 
this has got to be this is an old shovel or old spade <laughs> I just bent the heck out of it uh, so that's not very good I gotta go probably get my other one which is a much higher quality and newer one because this isn't quite doing the job okay got my better quality uh, spade, hand trowel, whatever you may refer them to. That works much better. All right, now they're popping up out of here. And also, we just had some really heavy rains the last couple of days. And so the ground is nice and damp and softer and easier to dig up. So if you can, um, it's always good to wait till after a rain to dig up your garlic because the ground's going to be softer and easier to get them out. So, and now that I've got a couple of them out of here, the soil is looser and they're popping up. So I'm going to go ahead and dig the rest. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and dig the rest of these out of here and then we'll take a look and see what we end up with. Okay, so we got a nice little garlic harvest here. Uh, a lot of the bulbs, they're not huge. They, you know, they are smaller sized bulbs, but uh, it's still a good amount of garlic for that little four, four by four section that I put them in. Now I, I, what I'm going to do is kind of divide these up between the hard neck and the soft neck. Uh, with the soft neck, those are the ones that you can braid into bunches using the stems. Whereas the hard neck, like this one, it has a very stiff uh, stalk that comes up out of it. And so it's not very good for braiding. But the uh, soft neck ones are more floppy. So you can braid those around and hang them up. Um, once you've dug your garlic up, you then want to let it cure for about a week or two uh, to let it dry, which basically you can lay it out on a screen, you can hang them up uh, just in a um, warm, dry place, basically. So if you got a shed that doesn't get too hot, that you can hang them up in there or put them out like on a piece of hardware cloth or some sort of screen. Um, and then once they've, they've dried out, then you can kind of get the rest of the dirt off. It'll, you know, just basically fall off after that. Um, so I'm going to let these dry out. Uh, I did find uh, a few spots where when I was making the video of the planting last year, uh, because I was talking to the camera, I wasn't really paying attention to everything I was doing. And in some of the spots I had put two clothes, planted two clothes right together. And so in those cases I have where they um, kind of fused together or one didn't really develop and the other one kind of took over. Uh, and a couple of spots like the top broke a little bit. So with those, because they don't have the full protective covering around, they've been broken open a little bit, those aren't gonna uh, keep as long. So we'll use those up right away and then the rest will let dry for later. So that's harvesting garlic. Uh, like I said, you know, you wanna look for those bottom leaves to start to turn brown, you know, two, three or four of them. Uh, and then you can even just maybe dig one or two up and test and see if it's where you want it. And if not, then, you know, let it go another few days and, and then check another one before you dig them all up. Um, mine, I, you know, almost all of them, there was a few little ones in there that uh, probably weren't quite ready yet, but I went ahead and dug them up anyway, because um, I just wanted to get that bed cleared out. So got a, a lot of nice uh, little cloves of garlic here or uh, little bulbs of garlic with lots of little cloves on them um, that will last us quite a while so I'm excited about that uh, and now I've got that side of the bed open the other side of the bed I have peas growing but the peas will be done soon so with the open side of the bed where I just pulled this garlic I'm gonna plant some squash um, I know it's a little seems to be a little late in the year to be planting squash since we're getting near the end of June but our frost date normally isn't until beginning of October, our first frost date. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bed to get a late harvest of summer squash. And by the time the squash starts getting bigger, the peas will be done and open up that side of the bed so the squash will have room to expand. 
uh, so you can repurpose your beds because uh, with garlic you know you're planting in the fall and pulling them around summer solstice to maybe first second week of july it's all going to depend on your growing zone when you got them in the ground and you know and when what your conditions are and, and how soon they're ready um, so i hope uh, this helped you with a little bit of information on harvesting garlic again you can check out the video below for the planting the garlic that i did last year uh, so Hope that everything that is going well in your neck of the woods, all your projects and gardens and chickens or whatever it is that you're doing. Hope all that's gone fa fantastic for you. Um, please subscribe to our channel and uh, come back and, and check out our other content. But we'll see you again soon and hoping that you are having a fantastic day. Namaste.